The State Engineer's Office in Santa Fe is named for Concha Ortiz Pino, the most influential New Mexican of the 20th century. The life of Concha Ortiz Pino offers us valuable insight into nine decades of history, business, politics, culture, religion, civic service, and the role of women. She was born in 1910 and died at the age of 96 in 2006. Her story begins in Spain in the 16th century and continues in the New World from the 17th century through the American Civil War, the Mexican-American War, and World War II. Her long life was also defined by service to others. During the Great Depression, she embraced Franklin D. Roosevelt's ideology and did her part to bring America back from the brink of the Great Depression. Along the way, she broke through the political glass ceiling of politics by becoming the first female majority whip of a legislature in the nation. She was the lady boss of a 100,000 acre ranch and a member of more than 60 local and national foundations. She was the only woman in New Mexico to ever be appointed by five different U.S. presidents to serve on national boards working for the betterment of society in the humanities, the arts, and for the disadvantaged. And through her 96 years of life, her Spanish heritage was defined by her love of country, family, and religion. This is the story of a woman who blazed the trail for thousands and was known to six U.S. presidents, 19 New Mexico governors, people in Washington and Hollywood, and the people of New Mexico by her first name, Concha. This is Ana Pacheco with Threads of Santa Fe History.